Following the attention-seeking and crybaby Netflix documentary made by Harry and Meghan, in which they insulted Britain and Brexit voters, well, the lord of Brexit, David Frost has decided to come out to hit back at the couple. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Lord Frost is here. Wow, Frosty is here to hit back at the crybaby couple, that is, Harry and Meghan. I promised, I know, a couple of days ago I promised, I'm not going to talk about Harry and Meghan anymore. We're not talking about them. We're talking about a very specific political and cultural issue that they brought up a number of times, especially, again, they indicated in their own Netflix documentary in which they, they basically said, Britain and British people are terrible and everything is happening, divisions in society, has nothing to do with the woke side, the liberal left-wing side, the commies, no. It's the fault of Brexit voters. Yeah, clearly Brexiteers, which is basically 52% of the country. They have the problem. Well, we now have Lord Frost coming out to say that the Sussex, uh, Sussex's uh, self-indulgent documentary resurrects um, the tired and uh, old criticism that our decision to leave the EU was driven by racism. <laughs> Absolute spot on. And even asserts that such attitudes worsen pressures on their marriage. I mean, that's a very good point. Why is everything everyone else's fault? Why is the fault? And why is the problem in their own marriage? The fault of the British people. Why is the fault of the, the, the clash uh, between them and the rest of the family, the business of the public, have your fight privately. Don't really do it publicly in that sense. And if you want to have a private life, if you're so shy, then stay quiet. That could be your choice. Now, Lord Frost continued by saying that Harry and Meghan are either ignorant of the real facts or making deliberately incor incorrect claims for political reasons. Now, they still have some supporters. They still have some people who show empathy. Well, they basically sympathize with the Harry and Meganism, basically, and then Mexit's cause and everything else. On GB News, one of uh, GB News' uh, panelists, regular commentators, Amy Nichol, uh, came out to defend them and their claims that basically half of Brits, Brit, well, more than half of Brits, are terrible bigots. She said this. Most people, not most people, a minority of people, some people, who voted for Brexit did so because they wanted to take control of our borders to stop That's foreigners not coming racist. in. That's How is that racist? That's That's racist that suggests a little bit of racism. It, it, it suggests no, it a little not. But can, I, can, a I, can we rewind thing. and talk about Mexit? So you talked about why you think this happened. You blame what was it, um, Kate and William jealousy, something like that. The reason I think that's that this part happened of it. They don't is like because the being in the royal family is a human rights violation. He was going to say um, that was the end of the clip. Being part of the royal family is a human rights violation. Okay, Amy. Okay, um, everybody is entitled to their opinion, and everybody else is also entitled to make fun of them and criticize them and actually hit back to tell the truth. The truth does matter. And going out there, creating this collectivist mentality of branding everybody, who's labeling everybody the same thing, and putting people in boxes is not healthy. It's the exact same reason that you guys created division over the last few years, and now you're blaming everybody else. You guys did it, not Brexiteers. Now we're going to come back in half an hour, subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.